special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Minister I, Where's UK Mod? So last episode, we went questing for all four traders, and then I realized we can actually do some quests over here. So I'm hoping we have all of the stuff required. We just complete all of these. Cans of chili, yes. That's the first time I've actually ever had that many cans of chili. Basically, we need to make five of each, but we need to keep the window open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it, cut away, and with like one, one or two seconds left for the last one, catch you guys back, and then see what the next thing is to craft. If we can finish these classes, guys, we can get more vending machines. At the moment, just want to have one more craft finish. Boom. Uh, at the moment, we only have the uh, the boulder and the medic class uh, vending machines, but we'll, we might actually be able to buy a ton of resources. So even if I don't find resources out there in the wild, as long as I just come and buy some concrete mix over here, we can, we can finish the horde base before day 28. I think I'm going to do one more round of quests for the traders, and then hopefully we get enough stuff from them so that we can just go and sell them. This sells for 600, but if you open it up, it sells for like 120 or 150 or something. Okay, uh, do we have enough? Oh, we definitely do. We need can of stock. Please tell me we have can of stock. Yes. And potatoes. I'm so glad I was actually awarding a few things. Because now that we need to make all of this stuff, it's so much easier to make. The big, uh, the big problem with uh, these kinds of crafting, when it only takes a few seconds, is you can't do anything else. If it at least takes a few minutes, you can go and you can put a frame in each block, even this one. And as soon as you open up, it pops into your inventory and counts the same. But if you're not doing that, then it takes some time, it's a really long time to get stuff done. Get eggs, we can make the next one. One, two, three, four, five. I just need to make sure that we have enough fuel every now and then as well. But yeah, this is easy enough. If we can finish the cooking class by doing this, why not? But I think we're going to run out of tuna though. I think we need like 10 cans of tuna for this as well. Okay, I just also realized uh, we don't have a bedroll here yet. So if something happens to me right now, we have a problem. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, with all of this, the, the nice thing about these, this food is, look at this. 25 health and 25 food. This one is 25, 25. There's one that actually think gives you more. 35, 35. This one gives you 45, 45. So these, uh, these foods are actually better to carry around than the bacon and eggs. So the bacon and eggs do fill you up more than the others. Well, most of them. But the nice thing is that it does give you um, a little bit of health as well. So the, the nice, uh, if I were to carry around these, for example, instead of these, I can eat and pull up my HP. And you guys know, I take so much damage. So we really need a kind of food that's going to fill us up all the time. I still badly want to go. I wonder if I should start sorting my inventory so I know what to drop. Um, I want to go and drop stuff quickly, but we might need the food stuff over here. And I'm just afraid that I, I'm out of this window for too long and then we have a problem. Okay, gather more eggs. Yeah, the jar of honey, please tell me we have enough honey. And two. Uh, more cornmeal. Yes, we have more cornmeal. And then can of pears. The fact that we have this stuff, I, I feel like we're going to run out really, really soon. I've actually been lucky to be able to craft all of this and not run out of uh, res recipes or resources. So the nice thing is we are next to a multi-trader. If we see that we need something, we can actually go and try and buy from the traders. I think it's definitely going to be the tuna because you need 10 cans of tuna or something like that. I think we're only uh, at 3 out of 5 on the food scale. We need to go higher than that. And let me just turn this off so it doesn't waste fuel. Can of chili, we don't have more. Oh, we do. We do, we do, we do. We just need 4. Cornmeal. I'm about to run out actually. I need to be careful. There's a lot of cornmeal that I have make five so now we have four out of five the thing is i think with the food if i'm not mistaken there's two quests per tier so now it says four out of five which means the next one that i have to craft is also going to be four out of five and a lot of times you have to craft this item to be able to craft the next item but i don't think it's in this case the same thing i should probably do this make sure that i have some really good food on me and then we can eat one of these now we constantly have to make sure we have the best of the best of the best on us. We technically need a drink uh, like mineral water that's going to fill us up better than this. I think the mineral water is going to help us way more. We need to learn to craft our own, I think. I want to drop all the stuff so badly. We'll do the sorting afterwards. It's, uh, it's almost done. See, it's still going to say 4 out of uh, four out of 5 and it's going to give me the next one. Look at that. And we now need more cans of Philly and we ran out. I'm actually going to drop... Let's drop this farming stuff. The meds for now we can drop, and then, oh, I should actually keep 
one of these or few of these on me. We can. Oh, that's 15. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do this. Uh, that's 15 plus 3, it's 18 that we have to lock. And the rest of the st stuff we can keep. It just makes sense to make sure that you have the best of the best stuff on you right now. Melee weapons. Oh yeah, the problem is most of our weapons are at the other base. So when we want to go and just double click over here, we won't be able to now. Because most of the stuff's still at that base. Okay, all the range... Oh yeah, all the gun parts and mods go over here then. Okay, this is going to this is gonna make it a lot harder just because I don't have those weapons here. If I had those weapons here, dropping stuff right now would have been so, so much easier. Okay, I think for now I'm just gonna drop these few things and then the rest we can take with us for now. Wheels, I should check it. Okay, yeah, let's just please see if the trader doesn't have more some more chili. There's four traders over here, so one of them has to have, right? I should probably see if the medic class or the I don't think the bullet class or the medic class will have. Please tell me you have cans of chili. Food. Can of stock, can of chicken. I don't know if we're gonna need the corn and stuff. At least we know there is corn here. I don't wanna buy unnecessary stuff right now, and then it's gonna tell me nope, we don't need it even. Food. Come on, I need cans of chili. I want to buy this actually as well because that gives you 50 food and 25 health. Can of soup we might need. Can of tuna we might need. It's a shame there's no vending machine over here, but there's four traders. That's why. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Grandpa's learning elixir. Eggs. We have raw meat. We have beer. Let's just take that as well. Cat food we're not going to need. And one more. I'm going to have to see if I can't see. The last few PRIs that I looted, I didn't really loot the kitchen all that much. And now we need the chili. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to go and see if we can't loot uh, another pure aisle too. At least we do have quests on the map to do, so that's fine. But I really hope that we can finish this now. It's 4 out of 5, so we're so close to being able to get the next box. And now we're just going to have to drop all the food then. I don't want to be running around with stuff on me. We're going to drop all the food just to make space, and then we're going to go and do these quests then. At least the food, most of the stuff actually belongs over here. The food we're going to put with farming, that's drinks, that's drinks. Food, food. Oh, I want to sell these schematics as well. We're going to quickly go in there again. I don't want to be running around with extra stuff on me right now. Ammo parts. Armor parts. And... Miscellaneous and resources. I need, to, I need to pay attention to where I'm dropping stuff. So in the uh, future, it's easier for, easier for me to drop stuff. Farming goes over there. We sell these. And then we have enough space. My drone... Do you have some stuff on you? Where are you? Do you have nothing on you? That's good. I want to make sure that we're not encumbered at all and we don't have to worry about space. There's a wolf attacking something somewhere. My senses have picked up something. I got it has to be outside, right? I wanted to kill that wolf. I need to kill the, uh, all the animals right now because you still have to do the psycho. Hello? Counts as an animal, although I feel sorry for killing that animal. Let's go. Okay, so as long as there's no zombies right next to us, we can quickly just look at the map. Uh, let's go for the bottom one first and then work, work our way up and then back down. There's one all the way up. See, we have to uh, go across the whole town the whole time. So the nice thing is, if we see a, a POI with a ton of resources, let's quickly stop, especially if it's cement. Let's just quickly stop and see if we can't grab it. We might have to go around the back of here. I'm not going to take a chance and get stuck over there somewhere in a building. Guys, you have to be very, very careful in this mod, in this biome. The snow biome, and especially the uh, radiate biome, are insanely dangerous. So if you're not paying attention, you're just walking around willy-nilly, you're gonna get uh, hurt really, really bad. Where is this one? Right here. Across from the Hello Halloween! This is the Halloween building, right? I I'm actually curious to go and check it out. It might be fun. Loads and loads of fun. So I need to be careful that there's nothing on the roof, and then we actually probably break this. But nothing hears us now. The dude all the way over there. I'm guessing there's someone in the walls over there. Ooh, automatic gun. Nice. Or automatic schematic. Master, we are not alone. I wonder if that was dumb to do just now. Crap. Crappy, 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 crap. Just close that door. Do this. I want to make sure that I don't have to worry about my stamina too much. People are firing my gun. That's why I want to just use my knife. I didn't think I'm going to wake up all the zombies just now by using my turret. 
But I did, so I have to be careful. Your eye looks so dangerous. Especially if there's all of a sudden a dog with you, infernal dog, we have a problem. This says find a supplies that's going to be on the other side of the building. I, I can't tell whether it's pointing upwards or not. I'm mean, also going to have to loot the kitchen. We cannot afford to miss the, uh, the a chance of getting some more chili. See, you have a very little chance of getting some canned foods, but you do get canned foods. So it always makes sense to just loot as many of these as possible. Why was there water in the oven? In the microwave. But yeah, it just makes sense to loot as much as possible as, uh, as everywhere you can. You might just get the chili and stuff you need. We need two more chilies so we can uh, finish this one quest. And then we're going to be five out of five. Um, I think we're going to need tuna and stuff then, so we're going to need resource more resources soon. Oh crap, that just scared the hell out of me. You be careful because these doctors and nurses are the ones that give us the other diseases. Just like the vultures. That is only from outside that's making that noise or inside? Inside. Be careful, John. Be careful, John. Be careful, John. Clown. Hello, Guppy the Clown. See, that's why I call it the Guppy Dog. The Infernal Dog. Because even his name is uh, Guppy. So I think that's the base model everything is uh, made from. So, for example, it used to be called the Guppy Dog because it's the Guppy design. But now it's called the Infernal Dog for some reason. And for some reason, it just doesn't stick in my mind as well as Guppy. Oh, there's an underneath to this place as well. That does not bode well. Shows that the fetch. Oh yeah, right here. <laughs> I'm almost looking straight past it. Okay, so. I have a really bad feeling of going down there. Okay, um, if I do this. Oh, there's massive underground over here. Damn. I feel if there's a dog down here as well, we might have a problem. After, we are not alone. I don't see any dogs, so we should be fine for now. Come on, I want to kill them. I don't know how much XP I get if I'm not the one to kill them. Is there... Oh, the final stash is down here. I was about to say, where... What's the point of having this down here? What's in the corner over there? Nothing. Okay, just the zombie over here. Technically, all I have to do, we only have 24 shots left. I need to make myself some more bolts. Just do that. And do that. Boom. Oh, that should be the only zombies down here. Hopefully, there's no landmines and stuff. Come on, give me some loot. Oh! I think that might be better than my AK. Okay, do we, can we actually leave over here or not? No, it's locked. Ouch, how do we get up? Oh, there you go. We do have a turret, we have everything on us, let's go. I need to make sure constantly that I'm grabbing everything. Otherwise I will forget and then, especially if it's a fetch quest, you're going to fail it so fast. Okay, we have to go backwards. I stuck at reversing with the mouse. But even when I try with my keyboard, for some reason I just, I can't do it. But my brain can't uh, register how to reverse with this thing. I think we might actually be able to kill this dude. And then get some medical stuff over here. I'm hoping that these vehicles, now that my loot stage is nice and high with this biome, that my uh, loot and everything is going to get way better as well. Why are there some zombies just running around all over? My have picked up something. Oh, it's a fox. It's not just a dog. It's a fox. So at least I don't have to feel too bad about killing it because it's food. Which... I'm sure I'm not making too much noise right now. Close that behind me. And then... Let's go. The nice thing is there are some resources in this BI, so it's going to be worth it. I think there's zombies upstairs as well, usually, right? Sometimes on the balcony of here, guys, you have to look up. Uh, just now there's a zombie waiting for you. If there isn't, cool, then you are safe, but if there is, you have to be really, really careful. Whoops, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. 
I should probably try and just do this as fast as possible, even if I use my shotgun. There's a dog, so I have to be careful of the dog. As long as I just use my shotgun, I can actually go through these places fast. There's no point in just going as slow as you can. Just go as fast as you can. As long as you don't... Oh, I need to get this as well. We need a thousand pond fibers to be able to... Oh, that's... Oh, I should probably just first pick those up. We need a thousand pond fibers to be able to go and make the stoggy cigar. That leads outside, so I have to be careful of that. The lady over there that I have to kill. No, it's not a lady. Come on, dude. Get off oh, man. This used to be like played a bob or something. Try to be careful. I need to make sure we grab grabbing all the play at least. Okay. And then we just have to grab all the resources. I think... Oh, the fetch quest is on the... Uh, is on the fridge over there. I need to be careful. That dog just died. Which means something just killed it. At least if there's a wandering horde, we should be able to get to safety on top. But even then, the zombies can climb the ladders. Uh, I'll actually let them, because it's easier to fling them in a straight line. Come on, I need some... Uh, chili, I need some chili. Please, 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 I need some chili. Every time I see these cans, I'm like, please, please, please. Because you usually get chili from those cans. But for some reason, I'm getting super, super unlucky now as well. Toaster, that's more bread. Ray got the fetch just now, yeah, it says return to trader. Now we go through this. No, other side. Then we get upstairs. I don't know if you can actually also get chili uh, from these uh, cabinets over here. Or it's only the uh, kitchen cabinets. If it's from any, then awesome. Don't you dare infect me right now. Especially a weak vulture like you. I wouldn't mind if it's like one of the boss vultures, but damn. Okay, since I put the Iron Breaker mod on this, I can now do two shots power attack where I, did, I couldn't do that in the past. There was actually a right call to put that mod on. If the zombies come, let them come. I actually want them to come right now. Okay, there's glass over here and glass over here. I have to technically make sure that we're constantly reloaded as well. Because we can't afford for the zombies to uh, trick us or surprise us from behind. Come on, I need two chilies. I'm going to have to go back to the other base just to grab chili over there. I should be able to, actually. If I go to my old base, we're going to pass a trade or two on the way there. So it might actually be worth looking. We could go and... Yeah, we're going to pass our trader. We're going to go past this trader. And then we're going to go to our trader over there. I should probably do the tier 4 frame as well. Just to say bye-bye. But he might actually have some chili for us. And then we'll be able to grab all the ammo and stuff. The only problem is I don't know if we should face the horde or not. Okay, uh, next one is up there. Let's go for the top one first and then come down to the bottom one. Yeah, it's easy enough getting through all of these quests, uh, because especially since they're level 1, it's really easy. But that doesn't mean you uh, you can just do it. You have to be really careful. Especially since this biome is so dangerous, you can't just take any chances. Bye-bye, spider. I don't like you guys. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay. Avalanche uh, Pizza, let's see if you... Uh, yours is your pizza place, you should actually have, have the stuff we need, right? I'm hoping since your pizza place you actually have some kinds of chili. Because people love... Well, some people love chili on their pizza, right? Probably try and close... Oh, there's no door to close. But like I said, I should probably close that door just in case zombies overwhelm me right now, but I won't be able to. This is a... Here, area space. It's not still not done, so there might be zombies on the roof, or they might still be in another room. I need to be careful right now. No landmines. No. Oh, you need to be careful of cooking pot landmines, especially. Uh, when it comes to like buildings like this where there might be food, it's so easy to think, oh, it's just landmine, and then run straight over it, and then boom, bye bye. You can come for me. That's fine. I put this facing those doors, and then. Yeah, need to make sure you are reloaded because you ought to be facing a few zombies right now. You. It might be at the back or it might be in this room over here. Since these are only tier 1 for eyes, this feels kind of easy. But you never know if it's going to be one of those buildings with like a trick floor or something. They just all of a sudden fall on your head. Okay, there is a top floor. 
Good to know. Did I loot everything up here? No, I did not. The good thing I just checked. Nice. Shotgun as well. No, that was a lever action rifle. I don't even really use those, so I don't mind. Master, I don't care not it, particularly. A couple of vultures. I don't see a vulture right now. I'm going to put my turret down just in case there's a vulture. It only shows these faces, so there are shouldn't be any vultures. So you need to be careful, guys. Sometimes it shows that there's no zombies left. Like, it was a clear quest, and then it shows, oh, da -ah, cool, you're done with the quest. And then all of a sudden, a zombie hits you when you go to the roof or to the bunker or something. And then those, for some reason, those zombies just didn't count. I'm always careful when I'm going, when I'm going onto the roof, because there might be vultures. Yeah, okay, now we have to go for this clear quest. We first have to deal with this dude. Back and forth, Bob and Wii how easy it is to get these done we're getting so much done as well so it's awesome it's fun to actually be able to do this much stuff oh hello hello bye bye bye, -bye. free meat oh crap i'm full i need to probably drop some stuff on my bike then or on my drone because i'm way too encumbered this is how you end up dying i'm not paying attention and running out of space oh automatic whip. i forgot to actually read that one Eat that, drop that. Be enough space for now. We have so much stuff on us that I, I don't know. I never know what you drop and what you keep and all that stuff. This is... Wait, wait, what's this place called? Chippy's Chips. I thought it said something about Tilly. I was like, if you have Tilly there, that's going to be awesome. I've got a bad feeling about this. You always have a bad feeling, lady. I'm hoping we can do this pure ice soon, but I'm guessing this is one of those that's going to have like a ton of zombies dropped in on you or something. It's just something about it feels like it's going to be a big no. Okay, do you have anything for me inside this car? Nope. And boom. I'll probably just dump everything on my uh, bike over here. We have so much space. Why not? I almost never use my motorcycle, but we have so much space on the motorcycle, so it makes sense to use it. Come on, I just need two cans of chili right now. I'll go in there. Careful of dogs and stuff as soon as I turn the corner. And spiders. Doesn't I say that we see a spider? Come on. I probably just woke up this whole building and now oh, that dude's gonna come for us. Oh, that's a lot of dots. That's definitely a lot of dots. Wait, are some of the dots upstairs? Yeah, upstairs. They're gonna come in behind us. They're on the roof. That's not good. I have to deal with these quickly before the top ones come for us. I don't know if there's anything in there or not, I can't really tell. There's definitely zombies trying to get in right now, so I need to be careful. Probably first deal with the zombies and then focus on clearing the space. It doesn't help you clear the space, but you're dead. Come on! Come on, 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 come on! Parrot, please! Damn, dude! Is it the angle at which I put it or something? But it's, it's not feeding any zombies right now. This is a red dot, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, I should probably put this one facing this way. That way, if more zombies come while I'm not paying attention, at least the thing will start shooting. Oh, but the problem is... Oh, crap. Oh, that was just a waste, a waste of a bolt. And the problem is it's a biker right now, and he's not really dying that fast. Okay, there's definitely zombies above us. Let's go. Oh no, why did I do that? It's lootable, John. It's lootable. I might have just destroyed my chili. I'm gonna be miffed if I only get like one chili though. I need two chili, it's not one chili. It says return to trader, but. Okay, I'm done. Oh, so the biker. Okay, the biker must have fallen off the roof and then came for us. So as soon as the turret killed the, uh, the biker, then all of a sudden it said, done. I didn't even pay attention to that. Garage box, ammo pile. We have everything up here, right? It's easy enough. Okay, so was that the last one? My nice. Have Look how easy something. it is to do these quests, guys. And they also, the rewards are really kind of nice. Especially since we can take double rewards. We're getting so much ammo and stuff right now as well. So the more I can do melee attacks, the better. And also, hopefully, we're getting a ton of crossbow bolts too. 
If I could just get one re one of the traders to give me a reward of crossbow bolt, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's see. Great Molotovs job. and let's go for the mod. Okay, um, house four, house four. Mike, congratulations. Here's your reward, sucker. House four. Name's not important. House eight. Fuck this up. So, what are you buying today? House four, house eight. If you do this for me, I. This is a different uh, eight. There was another one was a module eight. Pipe bombs. Come on, guys! I need other stuff than this. Okay, I might be able to take the bipod mod. Oh, nice. See, since we, uh, since he has a twin, that means I can do one more quest for the other ladies. Oh no, it has to be two more. For the other two traders, and then we'll be able to get this quest as well. We can sell this. I wonder if I shouldn't go for the food bundle and the melee and uh, the melee mods bundle bundle. This we can sell for 240, this we can sell for, yeah, let's sell the bike. Can you help me with my problem? This is a different house four, right? I think it was a house two, house eight. I, I need you to really pay attention. All of these uh distances are different, which means it's not the same people. Oh crap. Oh that oh for a moment I was like, what? Oh wait, this is 2.3. This is house four by Odaba. This one over here is house four by the Nundaba. Oh damn. This is a clear quest. Okay, all of these are clear. So which one was yours just now? Okay. I need to go back to the other house four. See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention. I thought it might be a house three or house two. I'm Watch probably paying attention just now. I know some There's this one. Break Let us call. visit for a while. Bitch. Tavern, Magoli. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we have another tavern right now. We need the reward of a crossbow bolt or something right now. And the only reason I'm really doing these quests right now as well is the fact that we need those chilies. So I'm hoping that these houses actually have some chili inside them. But I need to hurry because it's now getting dark again, so it's going to get way, way harder too. Uh, read that, scrap that, scrap that. Let me just dump everything over here and then also from the bike. I want to make sure the bike by uh, Tarot and I are all clear of any loot. I might have to go drop some stuff upstairs at this rate. Yeah. My drone, where are you? You have some stuff as well, right? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm a little bit full right now. We could go and scrap stuff that I'm not going to use and resources. We need the iron arrowheads for more bolts. The mods we can actually technically put on some clothing perhaps, but I don't know if I have any clothing right now that we'll need it to. We have that. We need this. We can arrange this to get some mechanical parts and stuff. I wonder if I shouldn't just take all the stuff upstairs. Or just make another chest down here. Yeah? I'm hoping that I'm not getting too full. At least we do still have the bike and we do still have the drone. So even if we do get full, we can just use those. Okay, so uh, let's do the furthest one first. Since it's getting dark, I need to hurry up. The trader closes at 12, so I, I don't think I'll be able to hand these quests in. So hopefully at least I get the chili. If I get the chili, then that's fine. Uh, but still, it's day 27. I need to focus on getting resources too. So I'm hoping we get enough for these. Oh, that's, in the, that's the same PI we just did. I think let's go guns blazing on this one. The quicker we can clear these uh, PIs, the better, because we need to make concrete mix for the horde. At this rate, we are going to have to use the other base for the horde knight, because there's just no other way. I think if I'm not mistaken, the final stage is inside this building over here. And there's more resources over here. But since we need the cement, I'm actually going to go and break in here quickly. But that's open already. Oh, it's not. Okay, this is a different PI that I'm thinking of. Before I accept this, I want to make sure that we get the resources, because we do need quite a bit of resources. This is the only time I'll ever, like, double loot in the PI. Uh, where's this? Where's this quest? Where's this quest? Quest marker is upstairs. Yeah, see, now we can get all the resources again. So even if I don't finish in time uh, to get to the trader, at least now we have the resources. Especially the cement, just quickly get the glasses done. You should probably see if there's no zombie in here. Sometimes there's one that spawns, one or two that spawns in there, so you need to pay attention. This is a clear quest, there might be anywhere. Before I'm done with this place, we need to also make sure that we go... Hello. Uh, we should probably also make sure that we just go and... Um, Mark the, the spot on the map. Wow. 
always a fat Zomania. Oh, it's a pop. Oh, he's kind of fat. Kind of. I'm not fat shaming, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, his counterpart is big. I think this guy's from London or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nice. This rebound, what is his deal? Sometimes it looks like there's black smoke on the screen every time he starts walking closer, like he's some kind of badass or something. That's safe we just got. Bathroom is clear. I need to make sure we get the kitchen downstairs as well. The whole point of getting these PIs is the fact that we need the chili. Okay, the more HD schematics we find as well. We need to make our other CNCs and stuff. I think we need like 60 schematics. But we need to make all three CNCs. So if I can get lucky right now and just keep finding those, that's going to be awesome. Guys, remember in this mod, loot the toasters, you get bread. Maybe be careful that there's no titan behind me. Because that's not on the map, or that's not a marker, that means there's no zombie there. Do this fast, do this fast. I'm hoping all these zombies just wake up uh, wake up now and come for me because I'm firing my shotgun down here. The sooner we can get this first done, the better. Probably also make sure we don't waste too much ammo by clearing this place. It says return to trader, so we're done. And I'm just grabbing everything and anything that might be inside of here. And I should probably put my turret down when I'm looting this stuff. At least the turret's like an early warning detection system. They can uh, tell you when zombies are close by just firing at them. Okay, so now we need to go for this over there. See, it's already one hour in, so there's no way we're getting back to the trade and handing this in before the time's up. But we can try. We can always, always try with my vehicle. What if I shouldn't help them over here? Boom, and then we can get out. Nice, nice, nice. I need to think clever, uh, uh, a lot more cleverly than uh, when I'm uh, clearing these places. I need to think tactically. Oh, my HP is low. I need to heal. If your HP is this low, guys, uh, what can happen is the vultures will definitely see you, the ones floating, flying around. We don't want a fire or radiated vulture coming for us right now. These guys are way too badass. Okay, so let me just eat one of these then. It's going to give us basically all our HP back. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.